you've got an air-to-air -air split duct system, then stop watching this video. This video is not for you. This video is for people with air-to-water systems who might be wondering why they can't have cooling in the summer, especially during the heat wave we're experiencing in the UK. If you have an air-to-water system, you might think that it's just a heat pump. Surely it can do cooling. Well, you're kind of right and you're also kind of wrong. In this video, we're going to be telling you why it can't do it, but also the physical reasons on why it can do it. And remember, if you're thinking of getting an air-to-water system, there's currently a government grant towards getting one fitted and Foxbus Energy do it. You can get an extra £100 using my referral link at evnick.com forward slash heat pump. Firstly, most importantly, one of the main reasons they can't do cooling is they are prevented from doing so in the firmware, basically the software that's pre-programmed into the heat pump to prevent it from doing cooling. Now, there's a mixture of reasons which we'll be going through in this video on why. One of the reasons is there is a government grant for heat pumps. And one of the reasons what a lot of people say is the reason the software prevents it is because the government grant isn't allowed on systems that can also do cooling. Then there's a lot of people hotly debating that that actually isn't in the government rules about the grant towards heat pumps. So feel free to debate both of the reasons down below in the comments. I pretty much, from what I've read in the, in, in the terms of conditions, I kind of agree with people who say it's not a term condition of doing it. And I think that the reason it's prevented is for some of the other reasons I'm going to go through in this video. Now, one of the main reasons is it is an air to water system, not an air to air system. So the way air to air works is slightly different. It's not heating um, a volume of water. It's heating usually a gas that's going towards the split air systems and then that split air system will release that gas. Air to water systems are heating a volume of water. And because of this, they can't use traditional split air systems that we get in aircon and also the pipe to the radiators. Now there is a way of getting around this with a split air system, which we'll come back to at the end. So from obviously a technical point of view, of course it can do cooling. In fact, if you have a heat pump air to water system and you run a hot water cycle in, in the winter, it will basically be extracting the heat and reversing it. Now you can test how this works in the summer, run a hot water cycle and stand near your air conditioning system outside it will throw out some really chilly air out of the fan system because it's basically blowing out the cold air conditioning air, if you like, into your garden. So you can have an air conditioned garden, just run a hot water cycle while you're in there. So obviously the obvious point is, what do we need to do? Do we just pipe a pipe from the outside air con unit in towards the house? Not very practical. Or can we just get the firmware to reverse this so it can throw the cold water into the house? Now, one of the main issues is the technical issue of a radiator being a radiator. Radiators are meant to radiate heat. And the way they work is the hot water comes in one side of the radiator, hot water rises in that radiator, cold air gets sucked through the bottom of the radiator and then have like a convection around your room that warms the room. That's how a radiator works. And then what happens is that hot water gets cold at the top from the, all the air going through it that, that hot water then, the colder water drops to the bottom and then returns back through your returning radiator. So obviously that's why both the pipes are always piped at the bottom of your ads. The problem with cold water going through it, there's two issues, but let's talk about the main issue. One, putting cold water through your radiator means that the cold water stays at the bottom of the radiator. So there is possible experiments that people have tried by pumping the, uh, pumping the water at the top or trying fans through it. There's various things. But that is just one of the issues of running cold water through a radiator system. The second issue, and the main reason you don't want your air to water system doing cooling for your radiators is radiators and your metal piping and your or your copper piping in a hot summer's day means that you're going to get wet pipes. The pipes are going to be dripping water. Your radiators are going to be dripping water. This is due to the way the dew point works in your house the condensation of the cold and that basically just means it condensates all over the radiators now the same happens with an air conditioning system that's why they have condensates and they drip the water outside but a radiator isn't got any drip trays underneath it to drip your water outside so you're going to have a wet floor wet kitchen wet carpets uh, maybe even wet internal walls from where the basically the cold is going to the pipes now we can mitigate this by messing around with how cold the heat pump will run in the internal pipes by playing around with what the dew point is, but that could change every single day. And it's a lot of messing around for 
pretty much very limited cooling when the radiator has all these other issues. Remember the air-to-air -air system I mentioned before about the split air system? And very quickly, if you are looking for a heat pump or air-to-air -air or air-to-water, then head over to evnick.com forward slash heat pump, where there's a referral code for Octopus Energy at the moment where you can split £200 when you get an install. So when you get an install, we both get a £100 Visa gift card when you get that heat pump installed. And it just means that at the moment, it gives you a little bit more price off that price of a heat pump. Now, the reason why you would go to an air-to-water system rather than air-to-air, -air, there's currently a government grant for it, which is very large, but the main reason is it still works on your traditional radiator system, means that there's a little bit less upheaval, but also it will heat a hot water tank, so you can still have baths and showers where air-to-air -air isn't able to heat a hot water tank. You need a separate solution for heating hot water. That's one of the reasons why air-to-water systems work better here, Maybe not for cooling, but definitely for heating. Now, one solution I've thought of is at the moment we have a diverter valve at the top that changes from when the tank heater is doing it and also to when it's going through a radiator system. We could change this diverter valve to maybe have a three-way system. So maybe one goes to the tank, one goes to the radiators, and then the third is a, basically for an aircon system. Now, the way you could work this for an aircon system is rather than running the cold water to the radiators, the third way flips it over to running in a casket, a bit like a plinth heater, but in reverse. So rather than heating a kitchen with, with a plinth heater, it's basically a, a system that takes cold water with a fan blowing over it, very much similar to a plinth heater. And they do exist, these, by the way. I've seen a, a few, I've seen a few of these that do exist, and they blow the cold air out. Now, you still would have to find ways of mitigating the water issues and the dripping issues, but this is definitely a better solution than the one that exists. But Currently, no one provides or makes anything like this. If you really want cold air, you're going to have to go for an aircon system, an air-to-air -air system. If you're interested in learning more about air-to-air -air systems, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, let my, let my sponsors know that's what you'd like me to see next. And we will try and get an air conditioning system tested and working and showing the difference between running the air-to-water system and the air-to-air -air system in summer and in winter. Uh, if you're interested, if you're interested in learning more about heat pumps, then check out this playlist here. And if you want to see my Cozy 6 heat pump get installed, check out this video here. Um, and there's also a video I've just released, by the way, about how the planning rules have changed towards heating and also where a heat pump can go.